This is the plaintiff, Lee Letourneau. He says he and his stepfather opened a fishing shop and rented the space from the defendant. They were successful for 10 years, but once his stepfather passed away, he decided to close down. The defendant refuses to return his security, even though the place is in better shape now than it ever was. They had such a good tenant-landlord relationship all those years, and it's sad people can be so darn money-hungry sometimes. He's suing for $5,000, the money he's owed. This is the defendant, Christopher Conlon. He says he and the plaintiff were friends for 10 years, so yes, this lawsuit is sad. The floors in the shop, however, are very worn, damaged, and stained. He has to replace them to re-rent the space, and that costs money. Plus, the place smells like live bait, and it has to be fumigated. He was willing to negotiate, but now that there's a lawsuit, all deals are off the table. He's accused of acting fishy. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff and his stepdad owned a fishing shop and rented space from the defendant. Now, the stepdad died, and now the defendant won't give the plaintiff a security back. But the defendant says there was lots of damage. It's the case of something fishy. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Lee Letourneau? Yes, yes, you, you are suing Christopher Conlon, correct? For $5,000, $3,000 of it, your security deposit back, $2,000 overpayment of rent. And according to you, he refuses to give it back. According to you, you're entitled to it for damages. Tell me what happened. Uh, my stepfather and I opened a shop, uh, Fisherman's Paradise, 10 years ago. We leased space from the defendant. Uh, this last spring, my stepfather unfortunately passed. I'm sorry uh, to hear that. Uh, thank you. Uh, it was a family decision. We decided to close the business. I notified the defendant in November that we would be, we would be uh, fulfilling the end of our lease in February, but we would not be renewing. Uh, we cleaned the place as best we could. I hired a contractor to come in, patch and paint the walls. The space was previously office space. There were various cubicles set up. The place was carpeted. The carpeted was worn and torn in spots. We replaced the flooring with the vinyl tile floor, uh, repainted everything, and uh, it did not have a working sprinkler system. Uh, parts of the electrical system were out of, out, of, out of code. We had to bring them into code. Did not have any air conditioning, a hot water heater, uh, when I left, I offered Mr. Conlon that I would leave the sprinkler system intact, the air conditioning, the water heater. Uh, I didn't ask for any compensation for it. it. I felt it could be used by the next time. We went through with a, a floor scrubber, the, a commercial floor scrubber, to clean the floors as best we could. It's a <coughs> vinyl tile. There is some discoloration on the floor. I'm not denying that. But he has expressed that he feels it's not as a, res a result of normal wear and tear. That's our disagreement. Okay. May I see the pictures that you have? Yes. Now, you apparently overpaid the rent by accident? Yes, ma'am. How'd that happen? Uh, the initial deposit that we left was $6,000. The breakdown of it at the time was 3000 for security, 1000 for the first month's rent, 2000 for the last two months' rent. This being 10 years ago, when I notified Mr. Conley we wouldn't be renewing the space, we also gave him a check for $3,600 which was the last three months, December, January, and February. Okay. And I realized he had been paid twice for the last two months. For right? the last month, because you had already last paid Last two months. Oh, last two months yes, that you had been paid. Okay. So while you're These looking for are... those pictures, let me hear from you, Mr. Conlon. Why is it that you're keeping their money after 10 years? Were they good tenants? They were very good tenants, yes. They're very good tenants. Yeah. Why is it you're keeping the $5,000, including $2,000 of an overpayment of rent? So does the landlord get to keep the security deposit because of the fish smell? I say no. Uh, you just don't, if you don't want it to smell like fish, don't rent a fish store. That is certainly a point of view. You agree with that? I agree. It depends if, depends on the, the lease terms. If it's I said, thought you said it, it depends on the kind of fish it is. <laughs> Salmon's okay, but not tuna. Is that the point? Correct. Okay, I get it. Okay, going inside the courtroom. Yeah, they, they, they did say they overpaid the rent, which they did overpay. Um, and they wanted all their security deposit back, the $3,000.
I said they were entitled to, you know, I'll give them back their overpayment of rent. I didn't well, realize that's it. that's bigger you. Well, I didn't realize that they overpaid. I know, they didn't know. realize it either. So, and I didn't, not, and there was right. no, you know, that no should have been That check should have been written before anybody got here. Why wasn't that done? Like, at that moment, why, did, why didn't you just say, oops, yeah, we all made a mistake and send back the well, rent? Well, because they had hired a lawyer, and the lawyer was threatening triple damages. Yeah, but that doesn't it. happen. Nobody so, runs out and hires a lawyer unless they spot that there's a problem already. We didn't realize the overpayment until the official lawsuit was claimed. And that came in Is the official suit. Is that true, that no. no one realized the overpayment? When do no. you say you let him know about the overpayment? We had discussed uh, the $5,000 uh, when we did the walkthrough uh, April 12th. And when did you hire a lawyer? I had consulted with our family attorney uh, prob maybe a week and a half after that when Mr. Conlon told me that no one gets their full security deposit back. That never happens. I, that's, that's not right. I've, I left the space in substantially better condition than I received it. Did you state the phrase, no one gets their entire security deposit back? No, no, no. With the floors in this shape, they weren't going to get their entire security deposit back. And I have pictures and an estimate. Yeah, let me see your pictures. Is it accurate that he put in a sprinkler system? He put in the... the he, um... put, he put in a sprinkler over the uh, heater system because the codes had changed in the past 10 years. He did do that. Okay, and do you have the original lease? I or the last lease? It. I may ha I have the last. I have a Do copy. you have the lease? I have a copy of the yeah, original, let me see yes. It. I mean, there's clearly, he can't rent it to somebody else with these floors. You understand that, right? He has to replace those floors because of the rust stains. His pictures are way better than yours at showing the rust stains. He, he took them. I, I expect yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, that's, that's a problem. No other retailer is going to walk in and say, oh, I'd love to open up a shop here. These have to be replaced. Um, now, your estimate for replacing it is what, $6,000? Because this 40, is a vinyl floor. 4400 And okay. I offered to split the cost. And your estimate for re replacing it is what? Uh, my estimate was uh, 16 and change. Uh, May I see your estimate? Yes, ma'am. See, I hear what you're saying about how, oh, yep. I left the place better than it was and all that. But he also has a right, maybe not to the amount he's keeping, to have those floors replaced because they are not something that's normal wear and tear. These are actual stains from something. Is this rust? What is it? It rust from under a freezer. How many square feet is this? A thousand square feet, Your Honor. Is that accurate? Accurate. All right. So now, ever heard of Galaxy Discount Flooring Center? No. What's no preparation mean when they give you this quote? There's no prep to be done. It's going to be laid down over the existing floor. The only thing that's on there now is the vinyl tile that's right on the concrete pad of the store. Is that a normal way to do it? Uh, he installed it, so I would assume so. Do you have pictures of how it looked when he took it over 10 years ago? No, I don't. What was in there? There was a, an insurance office in there with partitions and cubicles. How old was the carpet that was in it there? It was relatively new. because How I do haven't... you know? Did you install the carpet? Yes, I did. That company, Floors and More, did. Did you get another tenant in there? Not yet. Okay. Since the job can be done for about $1,600, I'm going to allow you to keep $1,600. I agree with you that that's not acceptable to turn them over that way. But that means that you need to return to the plaintiff the amount of $3,400 for the overpayment of the rent and the excess of security deposit. That's my judgment. Good luck, folks. Thank you. Well, you just got a $1,600 floor there, but nothing more. What's your reaction is? I, they deserve their, you know, overpayment of rent, and um, mm -hmm. I tried to get that to them, but they hired an, an attorney, so and they, that stopped you. You, you it, stopped. You didn't want to stop. Yeah. But anyway, you have a $1,600 floor. Yep. You satisfied with that? They I'm were great tenants, right? I, they were great tenants, and I'm fine with that. And I hope they continue to support me in my restaurant business. So maybe they'll come down. Right. I'll buy them a drink. All right. All right. Very nice. All right. Right around this way. Okay. The bait guy. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, you satisfied how this comes out? I, I am. Uh, mm -hmm. We came here uh, due to a dispute. Uh, Judge Maryland gave her decision. I respect her opinion. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad well, we It's pretty much what you wanted, right? Uh, uh, to a point. Uh, uh, unfortunately, we're now paying for a floor twice, but that's the judge's decision. Mm -hmm. I, I'll, I respect it. Okay. Uh, bait. What about bait? What, what are we fishing for out there? Striped bass. Got Thanks. a fisherman there. Go back and Thank you very much. talk to the fisherman. Harvey? So here's the uh, standard operating procedure, Kurt. When you rent a place, you have to return it to the landlord in exactly the same condition, or basically the same condition, as you got it. 